Hey what is up everyone, I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be discussing whether we will be able to actually do the New Zealand exploit on our Xbox One consoles to get the Nuka World DLC early. So if you actually don't know what I mean by that, there is an Xbox One exploit going around in which you can actually put your location of your Xbox to New Zealand to actually get DLC around about 12 hours earlier. And this works for practically any game that is released midnight locally in certain countries. So it's a pretty useful exploit to actually use if you want to play the game very early. Now like I said, this actually only works with certain games that the developers want to release the DLC or the game midnight locally to certain countries. So let's say for example the next Call of Duty, Call of Duty Remastered. Let's say that Activision actually wants to release it 12am midnight in every country. Now, because you can actually set your Xbox to New Zealand, that means that if you set your Xbox to New Zealand whilst having the actual game installed on your Xbox, you can get that game around about 12 hours earlier, which is pretty awesome, you know? So, I'm glad that I've actually got that out of the way, just in case any of you guys were, you know, kind of confused or would just like to know. Anyhow, let's get back to Fallout 4. So, since Fallout 4's release, if you actually had the DLC Season Pass installed on your Xbox, this exploit actually worked for you. So, that means that you could get your DLC way earlier than actual release. But, that is until today. So, something is happening in the mists here, guys. All of you who like getting your DLC early, say goodbye to that, unless you get into a beta, but say goodbye to the New Zealand glitch for Fallout 4, because Pete Hines tweeted this earlier today. Reminder that vault Workshop launches globally on July 26th at 12am GMT, that is UK time, that's 7pm ET, 4pm PT tonight, one release time worldwide. So what does this actually mean? Well it could mean two things. One, that Bethesda is really sick of people using that exploit to get the DLCs early, or they thought it was unfair that our New Zealand friends got it earlier than we did. So they've actually made it fair and released it worldwide, which would be more understandable. But from a po company's point of view, I would probably say it's the exploit, because I know a lot of people in the past, a lot of game publishers, have actually been really, really cheesed off about that. And it's something that Xbox keep on failing to actually fix. But let's hope they don't anytime soon, because I really enjoy it. Now what all of this means is that the Nuka World will most likely, I would say 99.9% .9 release on 12am everywhere. So that means that the UK people don't have to look at the New Zealand people and think, you bastards. And the US people don't have to look at the British people and think, you tea drinking bastard. And then whoever's behind Americans say, you cheeseburger eating bastard. <laughs> I don't know. It's just fair for everybody. And to be honest, I kind of like that. I like that everybody is equal in this. I want everybody to experience this DLC all at the same time. I don't want people to be like six hours behind going, well shit, what am I meant to do for like six hours? Watch this guy fucking play it. And yeah, that's just not fair. So I am actually really happy that, you know, Bethesda have actually done this globally now and they're re releasing the, uh, you know, the next DLC worldwide. But like I said, that is a 99.9% .9 chance that they will do it. There is that other 0.01% that they think, let's fuck with Star Lord's predictions here. Let's release it at the normal times that we released the all the others. Yeah, let's fuck that guy over. So yeah, hopefully they don't do that though. Um, but anyway guys, I really hope that you enjoyed the information I brought to you. I just thought I would update those who are, you know, kind of interested in that kind of news and so that you're not actually wondering why the New Zealand glitch doesn't work uh, in a month's time. So um, yeah guys, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.